assume that you have created a form using tally form builder software and whenever someone submit that form you want to send a whatsapp message to the very same form submitter automatically and in real time then this video is for you because here i'm going to show you how to send whatsapp message on tally form submission automatically want to learn how you can also do that come with me and i'll show you everything step by step so this is the dashboard of tally where i have created a basic contact form and in front of you i will submit this form with some dummy details and you will see how an automatic message will be received on my whatsapp number and for sending the whatsapp messages i will use ai sensei application which is an amazing application because it has the access of official api of whatsapp and to automate this whole whatsapp messaging process firstly i will have to build a connection in this tele and ai sensei application which i am going to do with the help of software called as pabli connect which is an integration and automation software i am an existing user of pabli connect so i am already logged in you can create your free account in pabli connect in just 2 minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free task to test this kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of pabli connect click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have directly pasted the name as send whatsapp message on tele form submission automatically okay now i will select the folder in which i would like to create this workflow okay and now simply click on create and then you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger an action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so this is how you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case i want that whenever my form is submitted in the tally application then automatically send a whatsapp message using ai sensei application okay so i have selected both the applications in this trigger and the action window and the idea here is firstly i will connect to tally with pabli connect and then i will connect to pabli connect to with the whatsapp okay so let us connect to tally with the pabli connect so firstly i will select the trigger even that's new response you can read the instruction triggers when a new form response is submitted so yes i want to perform the same that whenever any new response is received in tally application then that this automation should trigger or we can say that the form data should be captured as a response here okay so the instruction for the same and this webhook url is given here so you will have to firstly copy this webhook url and then kindly follow these instructions one by one okay so this is the dashboard of tally where i have created this basic contact form first of all i will edit this form then i'll click on the settings button here you will find the option of integrations and here you can notice one webhook url is already added okay so first of all i will delete this webhook url and here you can find a lot of applications are already available okay so firstly i will search for the webhook okay give me a second why it is not get deleted i will have to check all right so the existing webhook url is deleted now i will search for this once again okay basically if you are a new user you will have to perform the same now paste the same url which you have actually got from pabli connect and after that click on connect and in this way the connection in tally and pabli connect will be successful okay and once this connection is done now log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission record so that the data can be recorded it here in the web of response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means new form response in tally okay so my form is already open which i have connected with the public connect so i will make a dummy submission okay so assume that the email address of the person is dummy user12 at publitude.com and again telling you these are just a random detail 
is just a dummy details okay as a first name and last name i am providing this demo and user and lastly i will provided a 10 digit phone number and again this is a dummy phone number okay but don't worry i will replace this phone number with my genuine whatsapp number so that i can show you how messages will be received okay so i have provided the details clicking on the submit button and here you can notice it is waiting for the webhook response so as soon as this submission is successful here you will notice that a response will be received and here you can notice that response is received instantly okay so let me show you the details one by one here you can find the same dummy email address the same first name same last name and the same phone number here we also have the event id here we also have the time of the form submission the title of the form okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone will submit your tele form the details of that form will be captured via public connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done now moving further i will connect this ai sensi application with public connect so first I will select the action event that is send template message okay now simply click on connect then click on add a new connection and for the connection it is asking for the API key which you can actually get under this manage API key and then generate API key okay so this is the dashboard and firstly you will have to create an account in AI Sensei and once you are logged in you can actually click on this manage section and from here you can find the API key well one API key is already generated so instead of generating a new key how about i copy the existing one coming back to the dashboard of public connect now i will paste it clicking on save and this is how the connection in ai sensi and public connect is done and here you can notice it is saying the send template message now what is this template message all about okay so this is my ai sensi application okay and whenever you are sending the whatsapp messages using some official API of WhatsApp you will always have to firstly create a message template then you will have to submit it for the approval to the parent company of WhatsApp that is meta meta I'm really sorry for that and once that template is approved from meta then only you will be able to initiate the conversation with your customers clients and users with that template okay and a quick guide is given here that how you can create a message template okay basically a button is provided here so firstly i will show you the template which i have already created and then i will show you this particular button okay basically how you can create a new message template okay so i hope you have understood everything just in case if you have any doubt uh, again a quick guide is given here or you can refer some tutorials on the youtube okay so here if i will click on this all section you will find a message template and that is approved here you can notice the status is approved so the name of my message template is send message on form submission okay and the type of this template is text okay now you can read the message okay thank you for submitting the form hello and here I want the name of the form submitter should appear automatically so that is why I have added that value in the form of variable yes numbers packed with the curly braces called as variables and whatever the values you want to keep on changing automatically you can actually add those values in the form of variable okay how you can do that i'll show you everything okay so hello demo user thank you for submitting the form we have received your details the details are as follows and here i'm going to attach the form details basically all the details will be added automatically with every new form submission summit form our team will call you sh shortly thanks family team okay so this is my message template okay and now I'll show you how you can create such a type of template from here okay so firstly you will have to select a random category then you will have to select a language for your template after that you can provide a random name and in the template type you can select if you want to send any image 
और अ वीडियो और अ फाइल और अ लोकेशन यू कैन सिलेक्ट दैट स्पेसिफिक थिंग ओके करेंटली आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू सेंड अ बेसिक टेक्स ओके सो आई गो विद द सेम आस्किंग फॉर द हेडर ओके सो वट एवर यू विल टाइप हेयर दैट थिंग विल बी विजिबल हेयर इन दिस टेम्पलेट रिव्यू हेयर यू कैन नोटिस एंड इन दिस टेम्पलेट फॉर्मेट बेसिकली इन दिस पर्टिकुलर बॉक्स यू कैन एक्चुअली कंपोज योर मैसेज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वे ओके एंड वट एवर यू विल टाइप हेयर विल बी विजिबल हेयर एंड अगेन एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू यू कैन एड एज मेनी एज वेरिएबल्स एज यू वॉन्ट इन योर मैसेज टेम्पलेट एंड द डेटा विल बी रिप्लेस इन प्लेस ऑफ दीज वेरिएबल्स ऑटोमेटिकली जस्ट इन केस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू दिस बोल्ड इटेलिक और एनी अदर थिंग यू कैन डू दैट बाय फॉलोइंग द सेम instructions and in the sample values you will have to provide the content that what value will come in place of these variables okay so here in place of first variable the name of customer will appear okay so i will add a random a dummy name and then in this way you can provide the sample values footers and buttons are optional so again it is completely up to you and once you have provided all the details you can actually submit this template for the approval and sometime it will take some time to approve that template okay so now i will discard this template because remember i have shown you that my template is ready okay coming back to the dashboard of pabli connect i have already connected ai sensei with pabli connect so firstly it is asking for the campaign name okay so you will have to create a campaign from this particular section okay so this is the campaign section simply click on this launch button then select this api campaign and here you will have to provide a random name and after that you will have to select your approved template okay and in this way the campaign will be created well in my case the campaign is already created which is actually live okay so i am going to copy the name from here all right so i have copied the name that is sending whatsapp text to form submitter let me paste the same well this refresh is extra i will have to remove this i think it has copied this value also okay now it is asking for the phone number basically the mobile number that should be in this specific format along with the country code now you tell me from where i am going to provide the details so remember i have already captured the form responses here as the trigger step response and i am not going to manually copy these details and paste to below again and again i am going to map this data and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the above step responses here in the drop down simply select that data and in this way the value will be mapped now you must be thinking what is this mapping okay so whatever the details i will map here these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time okay so here you can notice i have mapped the first name now i will give a space and will map the last name as user okay so whatever the details i am providing here manually will remain same and the details i am mapping here will be changed automatically asking for the source okay so how about i add the source as form asking for the tag well again it, these fields are actually optional so i am leaving it blank asking for the template parameter well this is the most important and the interesting thing so from here we are going to provide the values to our variable remember we have added a few variables now it's time to provide the values so i want that uh the name of user should appear automatically in place of first variable so that is why i am going to map the first name okay demo giving a space and mapping the last name and after that once you have provided the value to the first variable simply add a comma and in this way you can provide the values to all the variables while in place of second variable also the name of user will appear here okay so i am adding the same all right so i have added did only the first name now i will search for the email address and finally i will search for the phone number of the form submitter all right so the details has been added asking for the attributes url and file name so if you are sending any kind of media in that case you can add the url of that media and provide the file name in this particular field okay so i think i have provided all the details now before i will click on this button i will first 
remove this dummy number with my genuine WhatsApp number and then I'll show you how a message will be received on my WhatsApp automatically. So I have provided my genuine WhatsApp number, clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response to receive while well, it is saying true. So going back to the WhatsApp web and here you can notice one message is already arrived and it includes the header also that is thank you for submitting the form and did you notice that how the first name, the full name, the email and the phone number has been added automatically okay. So in this way you can start sending the automatic automatic whatsapp messages to the teleform submitter automatically okay you just need to create a connection in ai sensei and tele with the help of software called as pabli connect okay and after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay yes simply create this workflow once and after that you can relax okay and just in case if you want to access this two step workflow inside your Pabli Connect account. I will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box. So simply click on this link and then sign up for free into the Pabli Connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own Pabli Connect account that too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.